Dust 514 is an innovative concept and a merely decent game. The idea behind this online-only first-person shooter is brilliant, at least. In the EVE Online universe, player corporations vie for dominance over planetary regions. The resulting battles are fought by brave dust warriors with the assistance of the friendly ships that orbit above. This merging of MMO intrigue and ground-based action prompts the imagination to create all kinds of incredible scenarios. The problem is that any kind of thrilling scenario you would imagine plays out in your imagination rather than in the dry ground battles. The greater impact of battles is largely felt in EVE, and only if you're a member of a significant cross-game corporation. As a lowly grunt on the ground, the effects aren't as noticeable. While the overarching character progression and space-based planetary conquests are persistent, the actual battlefields are not. This is a standard team-based multiplayer shooter in which teams of limited numbers take aim at each other with various rifles and rocket launchers, or perhaps from behind a tank's mounted gun. The shooting is just serviceable, functioning well enough once you get used to a few idiosyncrasies. The controls are one such idiosyncrasy. They're a bit mushy, even if you plug in a mouse and keyboard, in contrast to the bounciness of the light attack vehicles. Other issues that affect the shooting range from audio problems to frame rate drops and momentary pauses. Still, with friends and other allies, you can bring out the best in Dust 514. A well-placed sniper, a healer at the ready, a heavy weapon specialist, and a couple of large tanks make a formidable attack force. There are moments of excitement during close matches, particularly in the domination mode in which teams wrestle for control of multiple capture nodes. There's joy in joining a small infiltration squad and capturing peripheral nodes as the larger skirmish rages around another node. Some of the tensest moments occur during the lengthy node captures, with one team desperately defending one still in process of uploading its virus. And so the fun is there, and even common. Yet Dust 514 rarely inspires the kind of controlled chaos that characterizes the best online shooters. With limited vehicle types and many long straightaways on the large maps, there aren't enough heart-pounding conflicts, the kind you remember for days and make you want to go play some more. Your superior tactics may allow you to triumph, but the warfare is more intellectual than emotional. That's partially due to the game's dreary art design, which has little personality. You might even play long stretches during which higher resolution textures fail to pop in. Yet Dust 514 can get its hooks into you because of its character persistency. It has one of the most extensive and involved skill systems in any online shooter. Great rewards lurk within this skill system, but to uncover them, you must first make sense of Dust 514's ridiculously convoluted interface. Once you do, however, you're free to develop your character in countless ways. It all starts with your drop suit, which offers a blank slate to create your own class of soldier. You ultimately need to carefully plan how to spend your skill points, which are slow to come and which can be spent in all sorts of ways. The slow progression can be frustrating, though you can buy some items with real-world currency without needing to hit a skill threshold. That might not sound like a good idea for a game, but most equipment is lost every time you die, so you're always buying more. And when it's a featured fit you bought with real money, that can be costly if you play enough. In-game currency, on the other hand, flows so fluidly that you might never worry about running out. Developer CCP's impressive track record of supporting and enlivening EVE Online inspires confidence in Dust 514's future. For now, however, this online shooter relies too much on its connections to EVE to be interesting, rather than letting the gameplay speak for itself. And it's too bad that the gameplay doesn't have anything more exciting to say. This is a decent game that gives you a lot to look forward to, but the thrills aren't yet common enough to give Dust 514 a competitive edge.